All right, what's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be going over basically just what I've been carrying lately and the new stuff I've gotten and uh, whatnot. So it's almost the new year, almost 2020. And um, I basically really kicked off like my 2019 with getting a lot of um, knives and stuff. I really got into the uh, knife collecting and higher end stuff. Um, I've been into knives like my whole life and everything. I just, I've always just gotten like, my dad would just get me stuff from like Smoky Mountain Knife Works and it would be like, I don't know, just a cheaper knife, you know? And then that just got me into liking um, just knives and stuff and better steels and better quality and then better brands and stuff like that um so basically uh i'm just going to be going over what i got right now in my pockets so and just like what i have out actually because i just got a whole bunch of crap so we'll go into it my first ever my <laughs> we're at the park and matthew is done using the restroom all right Come on in, brother. Don't say anything weird. We're making a video. Okay. What were you about? Were you about to say some weird shit? No, I was just about to be like, I just bathed myself in fucking sanitizer. sanitizer. Oh, okay, cool. All right, but um, we're, I'm just talking real quick. Um, but anyway, so like 2019, it was, I really started getting into my knives and stuff. And um, this really kicked it off in 2019. So my first ever quality knife was a Spyderco and but my first ever Spyderco was a Tenacious and then my dad got me a Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and that was just too big so I ended up getting a pair of three so this was my first like quality knife and this was 2019 so that's when it all basically kicked off again because I just wasn't in knives like as much as I was when I was younger all right so yeah, so that was like the first quality. Other dude, the latest knife would be, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Benchmade 940. I couldn't flick it out good. But the Benchmade 940, <clears throat> original EDC for a lot of people. It was always one of the uh, Benchmades I've always wanted. And I just thought I would never spend that much money for a knife <laughs> when I was younger. So that's different now. And I got a deep carry pocket clip for it. And this dude, Benchmade Bug Out. I will try to put in pictures. I will put in pictures actually. This dude right here, I got it stock blue. But then when I went and got my 940, I got black scales, the blackout scales for it. And they're freaking dope. So, and I think it looks cool with the blue, whatever that is. I don't think it's titanium, but it might be. But I know this is. That's cool. Okay, moving on. What else? Oh, yeah, and then flashlight, 2019. I've never really been into flashlights, but I've always wanted a good flashlight. So I ended up just getting... Ooh. Getting this guy right here. The Olight uh, S1 Mini, yes. S1 Mini Baton. And it's freaking sweet. Alright. It's got a lot of different strobes. Or, er, fuck, settings. Oh yeah, here we go. Other EDC item. Carmex. Good shit. In the winter especially. Inside the jacket. We got a mechanical pencil. Not really like press mechanical, but twisty mechanical. Metal John Wick type deal. Oh shit. Whatever. Um, and then my phone I carry or record with all the time. And that is the iPhone 8. And my Victorinox Pioneer. I've had this more towards the beginning, I think, of 2019. But I've used it a lot, and you can see that dude is freaking worn. It's not great. I shouldn't use it for what I've used it for. 
but it's deteriorating. What else we got here? I think that is it besides my wallet. My wallet is just a Carhartt wallet. Boom, and it has this thing, and it opens. <laughs> and we got a cloth to wipe my knives off and sunglasses. Oh yeah, by the way, sunglasses. Ugly frog skins. Not those ones. These ones. I'm not getting them out though, it's fine. It really does fucking matter. I just got them for Christmas. So, uh, and I think that is it. So multi-tool knives. I don't really carry all these knives all the time, but I just like having them. This, I really don't even carry all the time, but since I got the 940, I brought this dude out. And then the bug out just looks dope, so I don't even know. But stay tuned, guys. We are hanging out, so yes, stay tuned. Hell yes. Okay. Screw it up. See if this fucking thing fits. Get the gear. Stay. My stuff changes throughout the work day, or not work day, but throughout work. When I go to work, I carry different stuff. Jeez. That's what I'm trying to say. because I work a really hardcore job on and using super expensive knives is just a no-go. So I carry them, but I also carry like work knives as well. I use my Benchmaker Reptilian usually for a work knife because I've just had it like for so long. And I just know that it'll hold up because I don't know. Just like the tips on Spyderco's, shoot are just super thin, so I just, for my job, I don't want to snap it off, and, yeah, that would be crappy. For back pocket knives, compression locks are the way to go. There's nothing to snag on, and spider coats have the hole, so there's no thumb studs on a griptilian or anything, or, you know, thumb studs on a knife to hook onto your back pocket when you're pulling it out. So, spider co. Compression lock back pocket carries great. And then bug out right there because the lightweight. And it's not really noticeable. It looks like a pen, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Blends in. It's black. 940. In the pocky. Right pocky. This dude. Lockout mode, throw it in the front pocket. And yeah, I think that's what we got. How are you looking over there? Good. Hell yeah, we're gonna look at it. I look like I'm about ready to start like break dancing for a shitty 80s rap video. <laughs> Very gray day here yeah. in the Midwest. It is. So, uh, and hopefully there won't be too many people around. Yeah, I hate it when there's so many people when I'm trying to. It was. It's this is a couple days after Christmas, so. Yeah. There's not too many people going to be around here. <sighs> I've taken lots of pictures here. <sighs> Probably gonna be some deer or animal around here. That's really nice. I don't think this is Darby Creek. Well, we couldn't find Darby Creek. She put in the wrong address. So we. Where are we at then, my friend? We're at. Uh, Metro Grove or something oh, weird. The, the other one I remember. We Whatever it's called, I forget what it's called. Yeah, I know. It's called like something Metro. I don't even know. Where's your hood? You gotta. You should have put. It's in my thing. Oh. Right here. 
That's another thing is that it's a really good like holder of things. Yeah. I can never get this fucking button in. Jesus Christ. When the motherfuckers were expected to do this. <laughs> Fix her up. So fucking tight, bro. Screaming that in the middle oh, of the Oh, damn, woods. I don't have my freaking dip. I need to go get my dip. Go on it, my guy. I'll be right. Yeah, are you going to entertain? Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll tell jokes in the middle of the woods. All right, I'll be back. Hi, everyone. Due to Wyatt's crippling nicotine addiction, he's forced to leave his scene. And I am now here. What are we going to talk about exactly? I have no fucking clue, but we'll, uh, let's nice out, you know? It's one thing we got going. Mm. So now, 